BlizzCon, we understand that, you know, when he says that some of you, your favorite flavor is vanilla, we know vanilla means vanilla. We know that it's about community, and that means some of the inconveniences, that means some of the rough edges. That's not something we're looking to, to move away from. It's more some of the questions like Jay raised. Which version of that experience? Is it the 2005 version? Is it the 2006 version? There were a lot of changes that happened during the classic time frame, and there's a lot of fun discussions to have as we figure out what the right experience is. All right, guys, we've heard it from the mouth of Ian himself. He says vanilla means vanilla. Now the discussion going forward is what patch? Now that uh, they're moving away from uh, discussing the rough edges, as he put it, uh, maybe this can actually quiet the uh, community as far as what we're going to be doing with vanilla when it releases. So that gives me a vote of confidence moving forward that they understand that people want the classic realm pretty much the same way it's always been. They want to bring back that community vibe. I, actually, I feel really good hearing this come from him. And I think as we move forward, now we can really discuss uh, the nitty gritty. If we're going to be doing uh, the last patch, if we're doing the midway patch, are we doing the Ultra Valley patch? Is that the one we want to start on? I mean, because a lot of people love that AV element involved. And what does it mean about the items moving forward? And how exactly are they going to bring those to the table? Because as it's already been uh, pretty much discussed uh, in fullest, when you bring in an older patch, like uh, you bring in that last patch, 1.12.1, You've got a lot of items on the table that will OP yourself out in a raid before you even get there. There's some blue drops that are just absolutely overpowered. And then, of course, there's been modifications done to the raids from there. What are they going to be looking at? And this is also another reason why I want to go ahead and bring back the point that they really want to bring some staff on that's worked on these kind of projects in the past. They really should be looking into... Uh, maybe the former uh, NAS staff like Viper or somebody, bringing those to the table to talk about uh, itemization. Now, not necessarily doing the development side work, but more as a consultant. They need a few consultants that really understand uh, the whole dynamic to the vanilla culture, the items. They remember the item patches. Maybe they've worked on the item passage, uh, patches and the item list and the raid buffs. And that's why in this a particular area of expertise if uh, people out there that have been passionate about the private servers and they've worked on them in the past this is actually a, a knock on the door an opportunity for people in the private server uh, community developers to actually you know hey blizzard i know what the hell's going on let me come and get on board and with ian saying that he wants vanilla as vanilla look ian was a raider during vanilla he knows exactly what we want and I think, actually, in the end, he's probably been the one spearheading it uh, behind closed doors to actually get this out into the public and have an opportunity for this to happen. So, anyway, guys, what's your thoughts? What patch would you drop in uh, Vanilla Classic, and where would you begin? Uh, but that's it for this drop. I'm Dungeon J. Guys, have a great day gaming. Later.